there, it's Tanya Evoy with the Evoy Real Estate Team Remax Affiliates. And today I wanna to talk to you about how to not get exhausted as a buyer in a seller's market. So assuming you've watched all the other videos, you know how to approach this market with a good strategy, making sure you've had a pre-approval, all of those things. We are gonna talk about why people are getting exhausted and how to avoid it. So first things first, it's okay to lose out on the first property. So just because you go in, you've put your best foot forward, you've done all the things that you're supposed to do and you lose out, that's okay. Oftentimes it helps you to get a new sense of appreciation for the process and it's a learning curve too. So you kind of know how to tighten up, what you can do differently, and of course you have a great real estate agent helping you to give you that information. So don't get too discouraged if you lose out on your first offer, even your second one, it can be okay. But if you're losing out on three or more, you're starting to look at it, getting frustrated, then this is some things that you can do. So the main thing is look at your homes in a lower price point. So of course you want to top end, you know, I can afford this, I wanna pay that. But the problem is if you're going in at your list price or what your max affordability is, then it doesn't give you a lot of room to adjust for negotiations. And if you have to adjust up, you don't wanna be stressed about overpaying on a property. So adjust your price point and start looking at homes that are in a little bit lower of a range and that will give you more flexibility. And then the other thing is adjusting your expectation. So a lot of people will go in and they'll see the property and they'll say, oh, it's so pretty, it's got all these upgrades, it's got all of those things, yes. That's fantastic and that's why everybody wants it. So don't discount the properties that may need a little bit of work. Although you want to have good structural things like the plumbing and all of the, that's not gonna cost you a huge amount of money to fix, you rule that out. But if it needs new carpet or you know the kitchen needs updated or some things like that that are just cosmetic, that can be a really good opportunity for a diamond in a rough because not everybody is going to look at that house because it's not Pinterest perfect and therefore you'll have less competition. And honestly, doing cosmetic upgrades really doesn't take that long. It's not that hard to do and you can hire out, some of them you can do yourself. So it's a great opportunity to be able to find a property that maybe isn't perfect, but can be perfect for you. So I hope that's helpful. I know this process can be frustrating and we're here for you. So if you need any information on how to get started, please send us a DM and I would love to connect with you. Have a great day.